come up here. If Tony Hawkins could please come forward. All right, and I'm going to have Brooke start, and she's going to introduce herself to Smith. Good morning, everyone. My name is Brooke Anderson. I'm from the class of 2000, and I am actually just the messenger here. Um, what we are about to share could not have happened without the efforts of Alicia Schulhoff from the class of 2001. She lives in Florida, so was unable to join us today, so I am stepping in her shoes to share this very exciting information. As you all know, for over 100 years, IMP has brought together exceptional students to serve this wonderful campus, and for 14 of those years, Purdue's IMP classes have had the additional fortune of having an exceptional advisor, friend and mentor, and Tony Hawkins. This is Tony's last year um, at Purdue. He's getting ready to retire, and he's getting ready to... <laughs> so much and 
gives us the opportunity to stay focused and to realize that the students at Purdue University are fantastic and there's no finer group than, than those who become part of Iron Key because they bond together as has been mentioned and the, gosh, just the, not only the intellect but the excitement that they bring, the inspiration, the, the cleverness and uh, I, I look at these pictures on, on some of the tables and I, I have such great memories. Um, I also recognize how much I've gained weight. But <laughs> <laughs> Got to work on that. Um, it, it's just been a tremendous joy, and, and I, I wish I could sit down with each one of you and just talk about the times that we had in each of the classes, and because they've been so great. Uh, but I remain inspired by you, by our students. I think. It's so humbling, but what I'm what I like most is that the money goes back to Iron Key and helps sustain Iron Key, and I hope it continues for many many years to come, and I think it will. Uh, just sitting here this morning, knowing that I'm I'm not a part of the current class, uh, but seeing how well they're doing and knowing that this this institution of Iron Key continues, and Dr. Cordova, you you really gave a lot to. Iron Key by supporting us through some of those administrative, uh, what did we call it, turbulence? <laughs> um, and, and we can never thank you enough because it just inspired the students to go on to greater heights and greater things. And uh, there's no end to what these students can do when they get together. And uh, very rarely, you know, you know, one individual can sometimes do a great thing, but many individuals together, working together, Peaceably and pulling upon the strengths that each of you have. We all have our flaws, we all have our weaknesses, but when, you put, when we get together and pull together with our strengths, amazing things happen. And so my hat's off to you, and this is a great tribute to Iron Key, and that's the way I prefer to look at it. So thank you very much for the honor, and uh, help Purdue. Okay. <laughs> tell you one story. Over the years, <laughs> all the students ask me, you know, what does the L stand for? <laughs> I can't resist Dr. Dixon. Um, when I was growing up, my parents uh, had a, a first name for me, and, uh, <laughs> and they preferred to call me by my middle name. So uh, one day I, after school, one, one of my teachers asked me, you know, what, what does the L stand for? Some of the other students asked that. So I went home and I asked my mother why, why uh, we didn't use my first name, because it confuses people. I said, what should I tell people when, when I'm asked why I don't know my first name? She said, Tony, just give them L. <laughs>